Hey everyone, it's Margaret, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I am going to be doing a little bit of a voiceover screen share sort of deal, real chill, uh, but we'll be going over two different Pinterest boards that are similar yet different, and basically just looking into uh, what elements give those boards those specific feelings. And yeah, sit back, grab a snack, hope you enjoy. Are going to be looking at two different Pinterest boards that I have recently made just for fun just to get kind of that magpie collector sort of itch scratched because I have been super into all of this sort of pink green purple lilac those sorts of pastel colors as well as just more of that artificial like y2k bright sort of deal which also tends to incorporate a lot of those pastels especially in this sort of holographic kind of situation or um, shears artificial like synthetic fabrics things like that and i thought this would be a cool sort of compare and contrast exercise because on first glance you can see that both of these boards have a lot of similar qualities so they are both quite feminine and girly they're both very stylized you know it's not stuff that you would be seeing in your everyday sorts of outfits if you're just people watching outside and they're both um quite extra um so more on the maximalist side there's a lot going on in both like the use of color the motifs and just the specific elements of the clothing but they're definitely uh also different like this one i feel comes off a lot more energetic and a lot more punchy as well as a little bit more of like a sci-fi like futuristic edgy sort of vibe not dystopian this is kind of a you know star trek everyone's got the good life going on sort of thing versus this board is a lot softer it's got a lot uh dreamier kind of a fantasy vibe um and this will just kind of go into what are the like specific objective elements that can create those feelings. Similar qualities. So say we've decided that both of these come off to us as feminine, stylized, and extra. Um, let's start off with feminine. And by femme qualities, when it comes to the sort of like creative fashion thing, I don't mean that in the sense of like, oh, if you have a certain type of anatomy, you need to be wearing these certain kinds of styles. Um, I think of those as more as just like energies that you can project from the outfit. But anyway, back to it. What I usually like to do is just kind of look at a whole bunch of the pins at once and then kind of just keeping in mind the like phrase or the word that um, I'm trying to pin down. Just look at uh, similar specific elements or colors in the pins and think about just whether for me personally does that give off that vibe so here we have feminine right girly that sort of thing and on this set of pins we can definitely see there's a lot of ruffles a lot of like curvy things a lot of puff sleeves um and then pinks purples pastels that sort of thing um we don't have too many motifs there is here uh this really cool butterfly a clear raincoat and if we go on this one is a bit shorter to the next set of pins um, again and we see okay this comes off as pretty girly and it's pretty similar there's a lot of like pastel colors a lot of shiny elements a lot of ruffles um, and just pretty much almost every single item I think exactly every single item um there is some detail that specifically feels very femme so like here it's a high-heeled shoe even though it's otherwise kind of a funky like modern looking fabric in a like neon color and this dress uh snippet here that we can see has lace um this is a button-down shirt but it's got ruffled sleeves um that sort of thing What makes it femme? 
and of course just looking at it the whole vibe is pretty much just disney princess loungewear but in terms of specific elements again if we just look at this collection of photos we got a ton of ruffles a lot of ruching um yeah lots of not actually a lot of puff sleeves on this slide but just everything has a little bit of like roughly embellishment um for the most part like even here for example um it's not like a dramatic puff sleeve but there's a little bit of that like kind of gathering going on and if we look further down the board um again generally a lot of poof a lot of poof going on as well as all of your more traditionally feminine colors the pastels this board has um, a little bit of a heavier emphasis i think on the motifs so in this case uh lots of flowers lots of floral detailing and prints um yeah i'm not sure i guess there's the strawberries although i don't think there were too many actual items of clothing that incorporated that um and a lot of tule and mesh here also and um, the way that it's used in this board I feel like comes off as a little bit more actively feminine than on the other board because of the gathering and layering and the sort of drapey qualities of the mesh feels a little bit more like ballerina than sport fabric which um, I think is a little bit more of the feeling here at least to me like Lots of shears, but for the most part, it's not screaming like floofy, you know, Princess Aurora ballet costume um, versus over here, you know, it's a lot more um, fluffy looking. So both of those, I guess for me, are just ways of kind of being maximalist. So you did not roll out of bed like that. And I think for me that involves both the styling as well as the actual like garments themselves. So in both of these boards, I would say that the pastel kind of bright, like more pure colors and pure in the sense of color mixing. So there's like no grays mixed in, there's no browns mixed in. It's just, you know, like the pink is like red with white and that's it, um, which I think come off as a lot less organic than things that are more like you know earth toned so here you can see even though there is a lot of cream um it's a lot heavier on just kind of like the um blues pink yellow like it's very very clear what kind of color it is so that's kind of what i like to use as a litmus test on whether or not it's like muted or earthy it's like can you look at it and be like oh yeah that is pink versus like oh it's kind of a grayy mauve kind of you know not not none of that um and yeah it's just not stuff that you would either just kind of fall into if you know you had to grab a outfit like you know from gap or target just just to you know because you spilled something on yourself like most people would not end up with these pieces if they were just trying to pick something you know everyday looking um and yeah it's just the whole thing it's pieces that take some effort either to have on in this case or to like make so in this board we have a lot of things that are layered a lot of things that are embellished and in this board we have a lot of very like looks items so like there's a lot of fabric used you know like even with this one it's a pretty simple cami dress but um, all of the gathers and the skirt and like the pointed bodice and things like that um, all feel a little bit like you know someone someone had to like put extra into that the differences in the boards um, this one, the pastel dream board, again, felt very dreamlike to me. So that uh, a little bit more specifically means soft and a little like fuzzy around the edges. Like, you know how when you're in a dream state, like you can't really tell like, oh, where does stuff end and begin? Like that kind of thing versus the multitudes board. While it does have, you know, some of that like fluffy or kind of softer elements to it, in general, I would say is a lot crisper. If we try to look into more specific examples of that, um, you can see that on this board, a lot of the 
clothing has um, like either overlapping edges or edges that are not like cleanly finished. So here and um, even in this more like formal ballet costume, you can see that the edges of her skirt are not like not distressed exactly, but they have a little bit of a jagged finish. You couldn't draw it with just, you know, one clean sweep if you were drawing the outline. Um, and the patchwork detail and that kind of deconstructed look, I feel, also contributes to that, you know, like it's like that where does it end and where does it begin? Um, and that just kind of more like everything kind of mixing up together, sort of a feeling um, is created by that. And again, here you have like, this one's a little bit cleaner of a cut, but you have that sort of high-low sort of silhouette that again is not as like simple to draw if you were going to just do the outline. Um, a lot of more diaphanous sort of overlapping um, in a way that is like more organic than the other board. And things that are just generally not as stiff, they're a lot softer, they like hang downwards rather than like jut like out super cleanly like this is poofy but again just like the the general sense of things um and just to look into the examples here um again even if there are some elements that are a little bit more on the ethereal side i feel like they tend to be balanced out with something that's a little bit um more solid and punchy so here you have the like crew neck t-shirt um, on this outfit here you have like the beanie and like the very um or like the relatively clean outline of her hair versus you know that kind of boho like you know blowing in the wind kind of uh, hairstyles um and then there's more fabrics and constructions that are like just a lot more um, clean cut so you have like this pvc which again is very sort of structured as well as um, just the way that the lines are here they're all uh, relatively straight so like on this sort of detailing um, the pocket detailing here adds more like you know straight lines and sharp angles and even on things like the embellishment so like here it's like a little bit like loopy or like a little bit curvy but it's very like symmetrical and very clean and I think that contributes to the more like precision feeling which makes it feel more energetic okay so when it comes to colors how does that contribute to the different feelings so we've said earlier that both of these boards have a lot of like pastels a lot of lavenders a lot of baby pinks and baby blues but um, if we look at especially the colors that don't fit into those we can see a little bit more how these are coming off differently. So for this board here, there's a lot of cream in both the detailing, so like in the lace and just um, incorporated throughout things. Like here, we've got a little bit of a cream blouse going on um, and a lot of, yeah, just like whites and sort of lighter colors versus um, over here, the sort of non-pastel colors, we have um, some neon pinks and some really bold, like pure yellows, um, which as an accent definitely brings the energy up rather than down. And this one doesn't have as many neutrals, but when there is something like black or white, it's not so much a cream. So like, for example, in these outfits here, um, it's very just pure white or pure black. Um, it's not like uh, tan or like softer grays. Whoops. Go back. Yeah, so like you, you couldn't really picture like these sorts of darker accents in this board over here. And when it comes to the styling differences, so how the pieces are put together, um, one of the main differences I noticed here, so again, this is overall not applying to every single pin, but on this board, um, more of the outfits have an emphasis on layering. So for example, here we have like the fitted mock neck under the sheer dress, same on this thing, she's got like a kind of 
mesh um, undershirt and this one's got the t-shirt base layer this one she's got um, that like kind of sports bandeau sort of situation also on this one the tulle is uh, layered on something that looks like it's a separate garment versus on this board it's a lot more of kind of a one and done kind of a situation so it's like the dress itself might have a lot of stuff going on like with the patchwork and the prints but um, in most of them it's just like the outfits the outfit there's not um, well there's like a little bit of layer right there but for example like the sulky dresses are usually just styled by themselves um, there's not usually tons of layered options going on in say your classic gold ballet outfits because that's harder to just keep still and yeah I guess that one's not as important as the color or the silhouettes because again you get things like you know pinafores or like you know if you're wearing any sort of outerwear like this cardigan that is a layer but um yeah, I, I think that's less essential to getting the mood of this board versus here. Um, I feel like it just contributes a lot more to like the types of outfits. So like if you were going to recreate this, I would definitely say like, oh yeah, you should look for some kind of uh, mesh layering piece for over and some kind of like sheer layering piece for under versus over here like, oh, you know, it would help. Like it'd be nice if you had like a, you know, cute little like, overall suspenders or like pinafore but it's not um, integral to it and in terms of how that contributes to like the dreamlike soft versus energetic um, I feel like it kind of goes down to that like on the couch versus off the couch energy so if you've just got your like one and done garment uh, that takes a little bit less effort than putting together a layered look like this um, yeah, and again, that, you know, you could certainly find examples for the opposite, but in the cases of these two, I do think that is one of the differences. On the couch. And back to that kind of on the couch versus off the couch energy. Um, one thing that you can use as a litmus test for that is like, could you like take a nap on that in the couch or like, would you want to? Um, and a lot of the garments here, I feel like they're kind of structured or like not stretchy and not soft looking to the point where like, you know, I feel like it would be a little bit constricting. So um, pieces, yeah, like button down shirts, woven shirts, um, stiffer fabrics like this PVC or these metallic things. Like generally the stuff does not look like it has tons of stretch. Um, like this one, I'd probably be all right taking a nap in, but yeah, just as, as a whole, it's a lot more like stiff looking versus here. Um, again, like most of these, because they're so extra, are not really like, you know, literal pajamas. But comparatively, um, it's a lot softer looking, a lot like stretchier looking. Um, there's more like uh, knitwear. I don't think there are really any sweaters on the other board. Um, just there's more space in the outfits. So like here's one that I feel like is not as like strongly integrated into the rest of the outfits because it's more of like a woven fabric without like tons of like give in the construction. Um, so again, if we come back to this, like this is also like probably a non-stretch fabric, but because it's got like the gathers, there's a little bit more, you know, range of motion sort of options. Um, yeah and just generally that sort of thing. Okay, so that's all I have. I mean, you know, that's not all I have. I could go on like forever, but that's all I'm doing for today's video. Um, let me know in the comments whether that made any sense to you at all, or even just like which of those boards do you feel uh, is more your style? I'm definitely more of like the pastel dream. You know me, I like my puff sleeves. Um, and aside from that, I just wanted to say like, um, the classification, kind of like the breakdown thing, um, I hope that's fun more just kind of as a thought exercise, like really understanding like what makes a like more artistic or like more mood sort of thing click. Um, we like labels for objects, not for people. Um, so 
like when it comes down to things like fashion styles, I feel like having um, more like labels or categorization for these sorts of things is nice because it can just help you find or understand more of what you like and it's not in any way supposed to be like, oh yeah, you are one or the other. Like you can like more than one style. Um, yeah, until next time, take care. <laughs>